Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. On this channel, we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the advanced SQL 50, where we are trying to solve 50 advanced SQL problems on topics like select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, subqueries, ad and advanced topics like ad window functions and common table expression. In this video, we are going to solve this question called calculate special bonus and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the third video of the series called calculate special bonus and the companies if I look at so this question has been asked in Apple interviews a couple of times. Let's look at what the question has to say. We are given a table called employees with three different columns employee ID name and salary employee ID is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table. Each row of this table indicates the employee ID employee name and salary. We are asked to write a solution to calculate the bonus of each employee. The bonus of an employee is 100% of the salary if the ID of the employee is an odd number and the employee's name does not start with a character M. The bonus of an employee is zero otherwise. Return the result table ordered by employee ID. Okay, let's look at this example. So here we have certain employee IDs and their names and their salary. So for every employee ID, the bonus is 100% of salary if the employee ID is odd and their name does not start with M. So for example, if we look at employee ID 2, so obviously this is not an odd number. So bonus for 2, 8, is going to be zero now for three seven and nine since they are odd we need to check the other condition that whether their name starts with m so yes for employee id three it does so here also we have bonus equal to zero for seven the bonus is going to be 7400 and for employee id nine since it does not start with m so bonus is going to be 7700 and that is what we have in our output so basically what we need to do is we need to have this employee id as well as create a new column based on certain conditions and alias this as bonus so what we need to do is from this table called employees we need in the output the employee id so return employee id and then use the employee id and the name column to basically come up with the bonus column okay so you can either do this using case when statements because you have to check for multiple conditions to assign the value in the bonus column or you can use the if function as well since here we only need to check one compound condition that is two conditions based on one right so here your bonus is 100% if it is an odd number and employee name does not start with the character m so you can also use the if function if you want so let me go ahead and use the if function so if the first condition is that the employee id should be odd number so if you divide the employee id by two the remainder should be one that means that it is odd number and then you also need to make sure that and and now also since here text are involved right so name text are involved in some of the rows it is possible that it starts with lowercase m so just to have the uniformity what you can do is you can either convert the entire characters into uppercase or lowercase the convention is usually to convert into lowercase so what i'm doing is before comparing whether the name starts with the letter m or not what i'm doing is i'm converting the name to lowercase so lower so lower this entire thing lower name and then it should be not like so it should not be like m ampersand so what does this mean is so uh, it should not start with m so anything after m does not matter but it should not start with m so not like this so if both of these conditions so here uh, this should be also in the bracket so that we know that okay this is another condition so and this is not like this then if both of the conditions are true then you return 100 percent of salary or basically the salary if any of this is false you return zero right and then this should be aliased as bonus because that is what we need in our output and then we should also order this by employee id in ascending order so we can go ahead and write order by employee id okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so this is accepted and this is how we do it not a very difficult question all we had to do was combine the knowledge that we have from sql 50 where we used to check you know uh, string functions how to check for string functions uh, how to check for odd values how to use if function here also you if you want to do this using case when statements you can do this using case when statements as well such as you know if you just simply go ahead and remove all this right so if you just write case when this is equal to true and 
and the second condition let me just bring it down here the second condition is lower the name is not like this then right so here in this case of uh, commas you need to write then you return salary else you return zero and whenever you start a case when statements you need to end this so end and then this remove this bracket or parenthesis and it'll end as bonus if i go ahead and run this this is basically doing the same thing right so accepted if i go ahead and submit it this is going to pass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted as well so yeah, this is how we do it not a very difficult question let me know if you know a third method to do this let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video